My goodness. Aren't we full of mirth and frankincense? I'm really trying very hard. I'm happy for all the parents of those kids that turned out to be all right from the accident, but I can't seem to get Jeremy out of my mind. Listen, babe, things are not good for us. I can see that. Where have you been? Driving Laura home from the police station. Lieutenant Stoddard again? The lieutenant is playing games. With Laura? With Laura and with Mr. Smith. Oh, great. That's right. Mr. Smith was coming out of his office as Laura went in. What does that mean? I don't know. I don't know. Smith seemed as surprised to see us there as we were to see him. Well, do you think he thinks she might have let something slip? I, I, I'm trying to convince him that I'm on top of this and that Laura won't shoot off her mouth. You wouldn't be able to deliver on that kind of promise? I think I can if Laura has finally realized that Smith plays for keeps. Why was the lieutenant questioning Smith, anyway? Something about Johnny Colby. It seems that that jerk worked for Smith down in one of his waterfront warehouses. Oh, sure he did. Well, the whole thing is no coincidence, Bobby. This whole morning has not been a coincidence. The police just might be trying to connect Laura to Mr. Smith. Does the police still believe her story that Johnny Colby raped her? I don't know what they believe. They bought it at first, but if they're questioning it now, we're all in a lot of trouble. Folks, just when we thought she was forgotten about us, she shows up. Well, I'm sorry that I can't arrange my breaks to suit your convenience, brother dear. I really appreciate you being able to work me into your schedule. Now, Barbara Jean, would you like to sit down? Oh, boy. Have you noticed that whenever you call me that, it always means trouble? What are you waiting for? Sit down. I have seen you hold a chair for Laura and for Jennifer. I would like to see you do the same thing for me. Oh, brother. Thank you, Luke. That wasn't so hard now, was it? All right, I've had enough of games. Just stifle the sarcasm. I need your help. Okay. What's up? In two words, Las Vegas. Luke, Las Vegas has been on my mind a lot lately, and I don't think I want to go. Well, oh, forget it, girl, because you're going and we both know it, so shut up. My problem is Laura and what suspicions Smith may have about her. Laura is your problem. That's right. Stop making her my problem. I need your help. You got yourself into this thing. Get yourself out. Barbara, please. Now listen. Please? What? I'm going to tell you something. I have had it with Laura Baldwin and her problems. There is always a problem with that girl, and right now I have a lot more important things on my mind. Like Ann Logan's son, Jeremy, who happens to be lying upstairs ten, ten floors above us, critically ill, maybe dying. I don't really want to hear about Laura Baldwin and her problems. I don't care if you want to hear about it or not, damn it. And stop throwing some kid that I don't even know up in my face. Now, maybe, maybe you can afford to indulge yourself in your emotions, but I can't. I was at the police station today, you weren't. And I got Smith's message loud and clear. Which was... <laughs> which was that he didn't like to be dragged down to police headquarters, which was that he thinks the police may be trying to connect he and Laura. Well, that's just great. Then you let him connect Smith and Laura and you to Laura and Laura to Johnny Colby and get the whole mess over with once and for all. How's your love life? In the pits. Why? I want you to date Joe Kelly. What brings this on? Just turn yourself on long enough to get some information from me. I want to know what his connection to Johnny Colby was, if any. Look, he made a very big mistake in the cafeteria. He told me that he read in the newspaper that Johnny Colby worked for Mr. Smith. That wasn't in the newspaper. Exactly. You know, Joe is already committed to Ann Logan. For life? Come on, you can break that up. I think you're overestimating my sex appeal. Why don't you get Laura for the job? Do this to me. You know that we're a team. You owe it to me. Now, what about our pact? We made a pact to fight through this thing together and to get what we wanted out oh, of life. Oh, please. Listen, now and then I need your help, and this is one of those times. Now, get yourself a date with Joe Kelly and find out what he knows. Don't hustle me, Luke. Okay. Do 
you want that trip to Las Vegas to go smoothly, to be healthy, and, and, and to have a little bit of pleasure out of it? If I agree to go, yeah. Well, you're going to. Knock it off. Now, I need your help. I need your help. Don't turn me down. Come on, you can't throw me out in the cold. Give it a try. I don't know. What do you got to lose? My self-respect. Ah, you can get it back. Come on. Come on, try it. Do it. I am think she's going to take a turn for the better. Oh, well, that's a relief. You scared me. You look so down. <laughs> well, I'm down, yeah, but the Kellys never stay down. I just can't seem to find a partner for dinner. I asked Ann, and she turned me down, and the thought of spending a dinner alone was kind of dreary to me. Yeah, I know what you mean. I get off in a little while, too, and I have to eat alone. Jesse's going out tonight. Really? Yeah. Who was it that said nurses lead glamorous lives? Well, maybe you and I should make a night of it, huh? Oh. Well, uh, at least neither one of us would be alone. What did you have in mind? Going to dinner is always a start. Okay. We'll take it from there. Okay. Wow. I can't believe it. What's that? I can't believe it. You finally asked me. Well, I have... I've been wishing that you would for a long time, Joe. Are you teasing me? It's true. Uh, well, I, I had no idea, Bobby. Well, you know, I, I kind of thought that you and Anne were together, and she's a friend. Yeah. Anne and I are friends because that's the way she wants us to be. We're friends. Well, I think that's marvelous. I like it when everybody's friends. <laughs> Shake, friend. Look, look, look at this. Hey, sure, I don't believe it. Don't you get enough of this place in the daytime? Well, I'm not here to work. I'm here to have a lot of fun. Great. Yeah, yeah, well, make sure there's no exercising on the floor. Right? There won't be any exercise. We're going to dance. Come on, Sam. I'm with you. Hi, where's Connie and Laura? Oh, they'll be here a little later. They have to go stop by the hospital. I guess they still don't know if Dan Logan's little boy is going to fall. Yeah, what a bummer that was. Yeah, uh, come on, Luke. Are you chickening out? Let's dance. Oh, come on, on Jennifer. Yeah. Show yeah. these turkeys how to do it. Don't do it, man. Find out how Jeremy's doing? Get out of my bed. No, I think I'll just talk to the main desk. They'll have a report on it. Excuse me. Well, Mata Hari, you didn't do it, darling. Yes, I followed your orders, and I managed to get Joe to take me out. I told you, you can do anything if you turn yourself on. Him. Now, make sure you get that information from me. Turning myself on has absolutely nothing to do with it. Joe needs a friend. I think he's breaking up with Ann Logan. Let's dance. There are marbles. Oh, well, wait a minute. I got to check with the bartender about something. This is supposed to be your night off. Judy calls my key Hi, Scotty. Laura, I'll buy the drinks. Oh, look. He always does that. Um, listen, while I have it on my mind, I want to talk to Luke about the girls' uniforms. You know, they're kind of upset about the way they're being cleaned. Mm, okay. Well, listen, okay. I'm going to let everybody know that we're here. They're probably wondering where we were. Okay. See you in a little while. All right. Yeah, what did you tell Scotty? Well, I just told him that the girls are upset uh, about the way the uniforms are being cleaned. Um, tell me, what did Mr. 
Mr. Smith say to you? Have you talked to him since you drove me home from the police station? No, and that may be a good sign because he didn't try to contact me. Well, then maybe he's convinced that I'm not going to tell the truth about Johnny Colby. Look, I think the only thing that he's concerned about right now is that the police know Colby used to be an employee of his at the warehouses. Okay, but there are a lot of employees who aren't connected to the organization. Laura, Smith put out a contract on Colby. Now, if Colby knew that and told somebody he was running scared, that person could take that information to Lieutenant Stoddard. Well, I'm not going to worry. I'm not because Mr. Smith knows that I handled things well with the lieutenant. Yes, you did. So just hang loose. Maybe you're off the way. 